Okay, while we're talking about the filter, let's not forget that we love to have changes in the filter over time, and we can definitely do that as you might typically expect, uh, because the envelope can be applied to the filter cutoff point. And if you want filter, we have your filter amount knob is over here at, next to the envelope. It's not in the filter section. And of course, to get uh, evidence of your filter affecting your filter cutoff, sometimes it's good to put the filter cutoff sort of low. And of course, right now, our envelope is affecting our amplitude as well as the filter. Uh, that's what this light means. So as I change how the filter is affecting the sound over time, it's also uh, affecting how the amplitude changes over time. Now I saw somebody complain about the Micro Freak just today saying, it's so thin and so icy, I wish it had you know more fat sounds. And I'm like, um, use your filter. Just I, put it on a bass heavy sound. A, there's a lot of bass heavy sounds available in the digital oscillator. And then just, you know, do a typical analog filter setup. Get really nice sounds. Right now we have a serious paraphonic thing going on. So right now that is absolutely true. But instead of listening to amplitude articulation, listen to that filter. It's very nice. We don't even have any resonance really going. Okay, you have to admit that after 12 oscillator videos, I have the right to make kind of an analog sound with this synthesizer, okay? Come on. Because there's always someone who complains, like, why do you always have to do a funk line? Anyway, because a funk line demonstrates how rich and deep and cool that uh, this filter can make these digital oscillators sound. And now a 15-minute prog rock solo. Okay, so uh, that is one of the ways. And, of course, you don't have to, the uh, filter amount... The envelope to filter amount effect can occur in all of the filter types. I should also point out that this knob is actually uh, everything to the right is a positive envelope and everything to the left is a negative envelope. So you have a negative envelope built right in without any fuss or muss and you can totally hear it. Let's go back to low pass filter so we can hear this really well.
See, you can make it very bassy and very fat. Okay, and uh, let's do the filter with the high pass. And of course, the not negative envelope in this case does some interesting things. Let's you start off with a bassy sound and then have its uh, fundamental stripped away. And you can hear a very big low end there. Even in the high notes. getting carried away it's uh, too much fun and i like these sounds too much keep in mind that if you would like uh just to have the envelope affecting the filter you can always switch this off and then we get uh, a basic gate effect happening with the amp so when the keys press the amp is open when the keys let go of the amp is, amp is closed and then you can direct the envelope completely to the filter Yeah, those are the basic functions associated with the filter. Now, keep in mind, we have this matrix up here. And if you want to apply five different sources to the filter cutoff, you can totally do that. So you can get much more complex sound sounds than you typically would have. For example, let's just do it while we're talking about it. Okay, so we have right now, uh, there's the hard wiring of directing the envelope to the filter. So we got that going on. So if we want to come up here and go to filter cutoff, oh, you can see the envelope is preset to affect the filter. Um, we can go up here to the uh, cycling envelope, set it to affect. Uh, 
Okay, we got that going, and then we can go to the LFO and get it going. And, you know, certainly um, the higher you set a function, the more it's going to take some dominance. So we're backing off the LFO so that we can hear the effect of the cycling envelope. Sample and hold going. And of course, you know, press can also affect it. You can get that going. So yeah, you have the ability to really go crazy with this filter with all of the different ways that you can modulate the filter cutoff point. You can also modulate the resonance. All you have to do is use one of the assigned spaces so you can modulate the resonance as well or modulate the various uh, settings of functions that are currently modulating the filter. Um, yeah, we'll talk about the, the matrix, but <laughs> it gets really complex. It is not simple at all. Although just initially you can just use it like a very straightforward synthesizer, even, you know, typical analog functionality. But if you want to make your filter do some really crazy things, you can certainly dive into the matrix and get uh, some relatively complex outcomes. And certainly, you know, we haven't even heard this uh, filter working on any of the digital sounds. I'm going to pretty much leave that up to you, but we can like dive into something here like... <laughs> <laughs> that is a really crazy filter setting, but I just wanted you to be able to hear that like with all the sounds we just got out of the filter, we were just using a basic sawtooth and you have this infinity of timbral possibility that's happening in the digital oscillator. So it just goes to show you that the micro freak is not in any way micro at all. It is massive. It's, it's almost limitless in the timbral functionality you can generate with it. It's maddening. Currently in, uh, well, like we can dive into, uh, do you wish your Yamaha had an analog filter in it? As you can see from 
the amount of video I just shot. There's so much you can do with this filter. It's a great sounding filter and it can really bring out the harmonic interest that exists in the digital oscillator. It can add warmth to the digital oscillator. It can emphasize frequencies that you need emphasized in the sound coming from the digital oscillator, or it can do all of the traditional, you know, filter things we've come to expect from synthesizers. It's uh, really a useful tool, despite all of the things I have previously said about why would you put a filter on here. The fact that you have a filter on here is a massive, massive benefit. And that is the analog. That is, again, scratching the very, very surface of the application. But uh, that is the sound and functionality of the analog filter present on the Arturia Microfreak.